Now, look, Debbie McGee, uh, you, uh, we've got you just out of your bed this morning, but we haven't got you far, have we? You're there. Um, what are your problems, okay. then? What have been your issues with sleep, Debbie? I've been really busy working seven days a week for just over six months, and now I just feel like my body's racing. So when I go mm. to bed at night, I can't get off to sleep. And if I do eventually drop off, I then only sleep for, you know, maybe three or four hours and I'm wide awake again. And I just can't calm down. So it's a big physical thing. Do you think also, obviously, you've had to deal with the loss of Paul. Was that a trigger for you as well, in a way? I don't think I've ever slept properly since Paul died. So I think that's added mm. to it. Mm. Because I probably haven't been getting enough sleep for the past two years. Right, look, we've got our doctors, our squad here. So that's two things then, isn't it? A physical reaction to being so busy and adrenaline driven during the day and also mm. an emotional one as well. well. This is a really common thing for many, mm. many people that, that they expect their brain to be able to switch off like that. So it's going 110 miles an hour all day long uh, from morn till night and then they want to sleep. And uh, the brain can't do that. It, it needs time to, to make an adjustment, to relax. All those stress chemicals are whizzing around the brain, the bloodstream. Uh, the brain's on hyper alert and it needs time. So you need a good two or three hours to, to relax. And that means, as, as Rongan has said, switching off the technology, not watching a thriller or, or, or a box yeah. set on the TV uh, and, and staying up. It, uh, you know, Hilary, if you calming think, down. Yeah, if you, if you think about it with our children, mm. right, for any of us who've got kids, we don't wind them up before bedtime. We don't give them a load of sugar. We don't put a, a really um, overly stimulating cartoon on mm. them just before mm. bed because we know they won't sleep. So as adults, mm. you know, why do we think we're any different? We need a bedtime routine. And yeah. even just that practice alone can help adults sleep better.